Hey everyone, this is Greg from London Bridge Bricks, and this is my first impromptu attempt at a vlog, where I'll be walking you through my recent experience of my socially distanced visit to the epic LEGO London score in London's Leicester Square. Now I finish off showing you what I got, including a whopping four gifts with purchase. So sit back and look out for a few well-known sites of London and an absolute boatload of LEGO. So let's start this off where I start every day then, which is of course London Bridge Station. All around the station, you'll find these COVID related signs such as keep your distance, wear a mask and all that good stuff like keep your hands clean. So this is London Bridge Station and this is Hayes Galleria where every morning I grab my coffee. So I walk past this strange sculpture every day. It's by David Kemp and it was installed during 87 when Hayes Galleria was being renovated. It's called the Navigators and according to the internet is a ship sized kinetic sculpture fantasy. So take from that what you will, but I just think it's something really interesting to kind of gaze at and wouldn't it make an interesting mock? But let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But anyway, at the back end of Hayes Galleria, you find this, the HMS Belfast, with Tower Bridge just sitting just over there behind it. Then, just a few stones throw away, we get to see London Bridge itself with Old Father Thames flowing underneath it. Now that big dome building over there in the background is St Paul's Cathedral. Over the bridge now to the north side of London and down the subway through to the Monument Underground Station, going deeper underground and we, we go down onto the platform to grab the tube going towards the west end of London and of course Embankment Station. Here we go. Everyone in London who uses public transport has to wear face masks. At first you kind of feel a bit odd, but you get used to it and you're simply blending in with everyone else. And here we are, the Embankment Underground Station. When you enter Leicester Square, it's full of restaurants, bars, cinemas, and it's not only home to theatre land, it's also home to the Lego store as well, and a very cool statue of Mary Poppins. Now, normally speaking, London's Leicester Square would be absolutely bursting and buzzing, full of people, but for the time being, it's a little bit quiet. Now, as you go into the store, you get a good splodge of sanitizer just to make sure that your hands are clean. So let's, uh, let's get inside and see what cool new sets they have in store. Straight away, this caught my eye, this half-scale Lamborghini Cyan mock-up. Check out those golden wheel rooms. They look absolutely fantastic. So let's take a closer look at this bullish Lambo. I've got to say, it is, in real life, an absolute cracking looking set, but comes in at a, a rather luxurious £350. Now, my good friend Brickhive recently built this over a series of live streams, but please do check out uh, his channel, folks. You'll find uh, details of his channel down in the description below, but he's certainly uh, a braver man than me. So anyway, so, and then we have, for a mere £170, a, a kind of, I don't know, a UCS style Mini and Mickey Mouse. I'm kind of undecided if I'll get them, but I've got to say in real life, they certainly look a lot better than they did in the photographs, but I'm, I'm just not sure if it's kind of my thing. Now, certainly if you're into, into Disney theme sets, such as, you know, uh, my good friend Rogue Runner, then definitely he, he's gonna love it and you'll definitely love it if you're into that kind of thing. But let me know in the comments below if you're kind of thinking of getting it. For now, my site's really are firmly set on the new Star Wars wave and that new Nintendo console set as well. But I will say though, that the old fashioned camera looks great. And I think the book has a printed pieces on them as well, showing the, the kind of black and white depiction of the set and those color choices of Minnie and Mickey, they really pop and I think they look absolutely awesome. So back to cars now, albeit much smaller scaled ones. That yellow and blue car is a, a Lego City set and I'm gonna be building that soon with Chris from Bricking It as one of our London to Manchester streams and reviews soon. So do tune in for that. There's, there's these small Technic buggy and the most expensive Speed Champion set, which is number 76899, the Speed Champions Lamborghini Urus STX and Lamborghini Hurricane Super Trofeo Evo race car set, which is a, I gotta say it's a bit of a mouthful. But anyway, it's a nice looking set, but if you want value for money, check out the Speed Champions Jaguar sets. Now they come with more parts, yet they're much cheaper. 
So anyway, uh, look out for them. And if you've built them or if you've built the Lamborghini, uh, let me know in the comments below what you actually felt about that. Did you think it was worth paying the premium for it? But anyway, uh, what I will say though, uh, here at Leicester Square, there are certainly lots of posters up marketing all these speed champions, which is, I don't know, a little bit surprising really when you consider that they've been out for at least seven months now. Anyway, up we go. So from one mode of transport to another. So this one has just recently hit the shelves. It's a, a bit of a contentious set, the uh, the Crocodile Locomotive, set number 10277. Now it's a bit, I don't know, it's more of a display set than a play set, but there are peeps out there that are starting to motorize it. And I think it runs pretty well, but I don't know. I'm getting into my train sets, especially for my kind of pending city that's coming. But just for now, I'm gonna give that set a miss. Now in and amongst all that, See if you can spot London Bridge there. Here are a few more Technic sets. The Ducati motorbike is my favorite and certainly my good friend Solo Brick Builder is a big fan of this set, albeit it doesn't like the fact that it doesn't come with a seat. Now another one of Solo's and Sarah Starbrick's favorite sets is this, the Lego Ideas Pirates of Barracuda Bay. And this is just a sweep of the top floor showing you how quiet it was when I was shopping there. Good news, the pad board is up and running, but instead of you grabbing the bricks and pieces, the staff are on hand to get those bricks that you want for you. Now, as you can see, there are loads on offer. I'm just not sure that they're gonna pack them as well as we might. Anyway, uh, here's a cool set, the new Batman mobile base. It's set number 76160 and it retails for 80 pounds. Now it's full of cool minifigures. One I really like is this gray and yellow Batgirl. Uh, essentially, it's a cool looking mobile Batcave. But anyway, just over from there, we have the Star Wars section, showing off the feisty UCS A-Wing UCS set, along with the Resistance A-Wing as well. Then over to one of my favorite themes, Ninjago, and that big black and red set being the Temple of Madness. It's a pretty good value as well at 810 pieces for 70 quid. But anyway, here's a quick look around the trio of Star Wars helmets, which kind of reminds me I really do need to get around to building that Boba Fett one and then a quick dash around through the Dots display. I mean, how cool does that jewelry box look? And what a fab design it is. I really think Dots are kind of universally liked by the Lego community. Anyway, uh, this here is my fave set from the Lego's trip altogether, and which is really, really surprising because it's a, it's a Lego city set. But anyway, this ocean exploration ship, I was, I was absolutely gobsmacked. I was shocked and surprised how big it actually is. Now, according to Lego's website, it measures 63 centimeters long and comes with six minifigures, a stingray and a cool looking great white shark. I mean, it's definitely gonna be a collectible set to get. I really like this Subcity theme and picked up this cheeky ocean mini submarine set that comes with a pucker looking hammerhead shark, but keep your eyes peeled. I'm certainly gonna be reviewing that one soon. But that also got me thinking about making some sort of underwater modular station area to place under the Thames of my new Lego city. Now, talking of modulars, it's time to pick up my first one and pay for it. So really only two things have actually changed when you pay for your sets at Lego. Uh, firstly, you have these shields up at the tills protecting you and of course the Lego staff. Then once you've actually paid, you then pick up your Lego sets from the end of the till area. Then you grab your stuff and simply head out. So this is what I got, set number 10255 Assembly Square. But we'll take a closer look at that in just a moment. So here's the thing, I've actually been working in London for the past three months and during all this lockdown, it's felt crazy just not being able to hop on an underground train and go to the Lego store in Leicester Square. But given the current situation, it's still a good experience. And I was really happy to be in the Lego store again. It kind of feels like my second home and I was genuinely happy to be there. The staff make you feel safe and they certainly make you feel welcome. And sure, they have to wear masks, but that's the norm at the moment. And in time, this will pass. But you know, here's an idea, perhaps to look a little bit more welcoming, Lego should consider making a Ninjago themed face mask. I know I definitely would wear those. So with that in mind, if you can go, then go. Keep your hands clean, wear a mask, and use a little common sense and think of others. So from Leicester Square to Assembly Square, let's get home and take a closer look at what I bought and what gift with purchases I was given. Alrighty then, so this part of the vlog was never actually ever gonna be uh, a Lego haul, but I thought, well, I was a bit surprised to get four gift with purchases uh, with Assembly Square. 
And uh, well, we'll, we'll look at assembly squaring in just a moment, but I guess like all my Lego hauls, let's start off with the smallest one first. So the, the, fir the first one I got, which I've got to say, I think it looks pretty damn good as it happens, is this set number 30369. Now this is the, the Lego City beach buggy. And I, as far as I'm aware, you can only get it if you actually go in store at Lego. I think you get it if you spend something like, I don't know, 35 pounds or something like that. So this one comes with 45 pieces and it's got some decent kind of little elements to it really. You've got this, uh, you've got this surfboard here, which I always think looks really good. You've got the, the surfer dude as well, who I think looks, I think he looks great actually. He's got the, the, the windswept hair and he's got a pretty cool looking torso as well. Now about the beach buggy, well, the beach buggy is a bit more than the usual kind of cool looking beach buggy, only because you've got these, these pearl gold sections going around there. So I think it's pretty good actually. I mean, for a freebie, it's fantastic. But anyway, so that was, that was gift with purchase number one. So I'll pop in down there. Gift with purchase number two. It's probably one that loads of you out there have been getting recently. Uh, certainly I know Chris from Brick in it, he's had at least four of these, uh, even probably by the end of next month, he's probably gonna have half a dozen of them, I bet. But anyway, so it's this set here, set number 40409, the Blue Hot Rod. Now this is a really cool looking set. Uh, I actually sold a couple of these off personally, but you know what, seeing as I'm kind of gonna be building a city uh, later on this year, New London, so do watch out for that. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be needing a kind of more vehicles and stuff like this on the roads, and this one's a perfect kind of Lego city as well. But what do we get? What do we get in this set then? We get ourselves a couple of good minifigures as it happens. We've got a, a, a female mechanic, and we've also got this kind of male hot rod, uh, full of testosterone probably driver as well. But yeah, it's a really cool uh, set. I really like it. And it comes with 142 pieces, which, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty good, isn't it? I mean, when you consider that and the beach buggy, there's two vehicles, there's nearly 200 pieces all in there. So anyway, so that's, that's uh, gift with purchase number two. So gift with purchase number three, another mode of transport. And it's this beauty, here we are. It's, uh, it's the set 40370 and it's the 40th anniversary train. Now, this is a really cool set. Now, I, again, I've had a couple of these. Uh, one, of, one of them, I, which I did actually sell it off, but do you know what? Now, again, goes back to the, uh, the, 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 the city that I'm gonna be, uh, that I've got kind of planning for at the moment for New London. I'm gonna need stuff like this for it. So instead of kind of selling it off, I'm kind of thinking to myself, well, you know, I could use this with some sort of, uh, train station or something like that that I designed for it and you know London Bridge itself has its own train station so I think it would be almost remiss of me not to kind of design my own uh, London Bridge as well but this set is an absolute beauty and it's and it's uh, and it's an anniversary of I think it was the first train that actually ever came out on Lego so a lot of people say oh no the, the first train that came out was only about 20 years ago but they, they were the power ones those were uh, this one was just a good old basic uh, Lego set, which comes with uh, a very a very kind of uh, 80s looking minifigure as well. But you know what, it's, it's, it's kind of a, it's such a basic looking figure that you kind of think to yourself, it's kind of nice, it's nostalgic and stuff like that. So, and all as well, you got on here as well, which I think looks really nice, is the, uh, the Lego Systems logo from uh, back in the day. So yeah, so that's a, that's a pretty cool set. And that one, that one comes with a nice healthy 188 pieces. So that's uh, GWP part three. So anyway, away from that one and over to this one. Now this one is definitely not gonna be to everyone's taste, but here we go, this one here. Now this is, I've gotta say this carefully because it's not creator, apparently it's called the creative. So it's the creative 12 in one and it's set number 40411. Now this, this is one of those sets that kind of gets those, those creative juices uh, going with um, just a whole bunch of bricks that you can kind of build anything with. Uh, with on, on the front of the box here, we've got this, uh, this, this pineapple, uh, we've got this uh, a flamingo here with a, a kind of Elvis Presley uh, hat on or a hair piece. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. We've got this cool looking parrot. We've got the, uh, the sand castle as well. And well, just about anything else 
that your imagination can come up with. We've got lollies there, chocolate lollies. That looks like a feast, that one. We've got watermelon, we've got fish. Uh, uh, we've even got a yacht as well. I think that looks quite good, actually. But do you know what? Yeah, not kind of my thing. Will I sell it? Mm, probably not, actually. I might use this for, um, I don't know, putting, on a, putting some of those pieces on. I've got some cool studs in there. I can use that on one of my dots bracelets or something like that. Or again, I just use it in the new city. I mean, this is, you know, 240 pieces and all in, all those gift with purchases that I got, that all accumulates to 700, well, that's 705, I think, off the top of my head, bricks that I got free um, with Assembly Square. So that's gift with purchase number four. Let's have a look at the, the main thing that I bought. And here it is. This is, oh, look at that, came out lovely, that did. This is Assembly Square, and it's absolutely humongous. I mean, look at it, it's taking up all, all, all my space. But this is it, folks. This is all 4,001 pieces of one set. I mean, it's pretty cool, isn't it? I mean, it comes with all sorts of uh, things. Let's, uh, let's take a look, if I can show it around here, really. So what, the reason I got this, is I asked a few people out there in the community, uh, what modular set? would they recommend I get? Now this one apparently has been around for a while, but this one in particular, if one likes, because it's three modulars in one. And this is this actual one, Assembly Square, uh, marks the 10th anniversary as well of uh, Lego coming out with the thing being uh, the modulars. So here we go. Oh, it's actually 4,002 pieces. Uh, I stand corrected. And then here we go here, it's, a, it's over 35 centimetres high and 38 centimetres in length. And it's just brilliant. I mean, look at it. It's, it's, like a, it's like a mini town all in itself. It really is. We've got a, what have we got down here? We've got a chef, we've got a baby, we've got this guy here who's got a, a great big huge moustache. He looks, he looks very French. Um, I've got this guy here, guitaring, serenading uh, this lady here with... Um, with her cakes and there's a, a wee little dog down there as well. But look at all the architecture we've got going on around the top parts of these buildings here. And they're all very different. We've got this kind of mason finish here. We've got this stone finish here with what looks like shutters and all sorts of things. And uh, yeah, I just think it's just kind of like a, a bit of Lego life. We've got a, a, a someone there giving, giving his fiance potentially a, a, a uh, some flowers. I mean, it's just a lovely scene, isn't it? And around the back here, if I turn this around, you can see, uh, hopefully, uh, where all the all the, all the modulars and that come together. I think I, I, I just, I just, it, it's it's a theme. Modulars is a theme or, or a thing in Lego that I was kind of reluctant to get into, but of course, inevitably, if I'm starting a city, I'm going to need me some modulars. So that's it for my first vlog. Hope you enjoyed watching my experience at London's Leicester Square and some of the sights of London and what sets I bought. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on shopping at Lego. Have you been to any stores and what was your experience like? Or for the time being, have you been getting all your Lego online? Now you can follow London Bridge Bricks on Instagram and Twitter. And if you're new to London Bridge Bricks, why not hop on and become a big part of the LBB family? Thank you as always for tuning in. I'll leave you now with some videos that I think you might like.